Study Question 5.2 brings together member states, sector members, other experts, and stakeholders to consider lessons learned, best practices, um, consider our experiences, and tools and templates. And so in this study cycle, we're going to have a unique priority focus on one specific area each year, so we can go more in depth. So in 2018, we're looking at early warning. In 2019, we're looking at drills and exercises. In 2020, the enabling policy environment for resilient communications and the deployment of emergency communications. And throughout, we're looking at emerging technology and current technologies and how we can support and enable those in response. So our discussions our yearly reports with focus on the priority areas, our final report, and the workshops we're going to have each year will reflect those priorities. ICTs support all phases of disaster from the critical preparedness stage through mitigation, uh, response, and recovery. So imagining that you get an alert, uh, an early warning that helps you get to a safer place, or using your phone to text your loved ones and let them know you're okay, or using it to call for help, or thinking about the responders and the humanitarian responders who use ICTs to coordinate their responses. Um, and think about a refugee camp where ICTs can bring education, health care, and even the opportunity to work. So imagine going through your life without being able, you know, without communications. You know, ICTs are essential to our daily lives. They, they run them. And so in a disaster, that need is only magnified, you know, exponentially. So ICTs are essential. Well, it's often assumed that communications are just going to be available in disasters, but in reality, having communications available takes a great deal of preparedness. Um, if you think of communi emergency communications planning or setting up coordination mechanisms or uh, exercises and drills and the policies and procedures that you need, um, Think of all that's needed, and Study Group 5.2 gives us an opportunity to go in depth to look at all of those so that we might all be more prepared when disasters strike.